They stick together throughout, no one left behind, from falls to steep climbs. It's a lot of young children, so some of them are just basically being carried up to dead ends. They started to go the wrong way for the moment, and now they're backtracking a little bit. Setback after setback. He's saying that they paid. We're promised another pickup on the other side. But it seems like that driver just took off with their money. This, just part of a day's journey for these migrants. A day that started not here in southern Mexico, but across the Suchiate River in Guatemala. Hola, muy buenas. With passport stamped, we take the official land crossing. <laughs> stepping into a vibrant Tecunamán. In the shade of the town square, we meet two families from Venezuela, traveling as one. They're saying they're ready to cross. They welcome us to join. Tienes siete años, no? Siete, seven years old. A 15-minute stroll to the river after 18 grueling days on the road. Jemile Rodriguez tells me it's been costly. No, but she says, like, the... The, going through the jungle is like dealing with the mafia. She says you have to pay in order to leave, and they had to pay $250 a person. As they arrive at the river, another expense, the crossing. Meanwhile, we go back to the Mexico side using the official entry and hop onto a raft. We're waiting for the two families that we met to make their way across, and they're about to board a raft and meet us in the middle as they cross illegally to Mexico. Their raft drifts over the border, and we meet again in Mexico. He's saying they're headed to the land of opportunity. Migrant children scramble to help tug them to shore. They step off and into Ciudad Hidalgo, a small border town. It allows for just a moment of joy, if only for the kids. Their goal tonight, Tapachula, to get Mexican transit documents. They learn it's not as close as they'd hoped, 20 miles, normally an hour's drive. But there's a catch. Is that your van? Yeah, yeah. 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 See? Oh, OK. They're getting on right now. Because they never entered Mexico legally, they need to avoid the multiple migration checkpoints. Otherwise, the Mexican drivers could be accused of smuggling. Every crevice of the van filled. Then they're off, on the road for only about 10 minutes. We watch as they pull over just before the first checkpoint, everyone out. They walk the direction they think they're supposed to head. You can tell they're basically just trying to figure out their way as they go. They have no real guide. They were told some general instructions, and now they're just trying to figure it out. Weaving through brush and high grass, up and down hills, they skirt around the first migration checkpoint. But on the other side, the same driver who they paid to wait for them has taken off. So they're trying to figure out if they can get another van or they keep walking. Looks like for now they're just going to keep walking. A few minutes pass, another van pulls up. 15 minutes later, another stop, another checkpoint walk around. 30 minutes after that, yet another. This one takes them on a bridge directly over the migration checkpoint. Back on the van they go. Before sunset, they make it to Tapachula. Relieved? Sure. Also overwhelmed, thinking about the unknowns ahead, but determined to keep moving north, smiling and waving. We'll see you later, they tell us.